And now to present the award for Athlete of the Year, past Nexty's winners, Kyle Tierman and Tyler Fox. Fox, Fox, Fox. They're already scaring me. Your minute is up. <laughs> well, we all have that friend who becomes extraordinarily good at that obscure sport. They train in secret like the Karate Kid. And then one day they show up and you're forced to look around at all of your friends and say, how the fuck did they get so good at that? But Ryan, He's clearly one of those obsessive personalities. He is nationally ranked on a spike ball team, but not only that, he has brought spike ball to Santa Cruz. And last year, he hosted the largest ever spike ball tournament with over 50 teams from around the country coming down to Seabright Beach. And not only that, it was the first female spike ball tournament ever. Yeah. Ryan's pretty much crushing it at a sport that most of us, this is very new and really hard, as you can see by Kyle's performance. Um, but uh, he, he's also brought this to the kids in the schools and really endorsed getting out and being active, which is really awesome, and uh, doing amazing things for this sport that a lot of us haven't heard of. So um, please welcome Ryan Navaroli. You. Appreciate it. Thank you guys, really, really great introduction there. We saw a good little rally going on between them, but we had to cut it a little bit short. Um, so first of all, I'd really like to thank Matthew for hosting such an amazing Nexties event. So if we could just give it up for him, this has been incredible. So like we kind of saw right there, um, the sport's called Round Net and Spikeball popularized it. And it's like beach volleyball except it's a 360 degree game with no boundaries. So basically you can imagine you're diving all over the place. And when I first started playing, I was having body parts sore that I didn't even know existed. So it was pretty, that's kind of got me hooked. I was like, this is a great workout and a lot of fun. Um, so like you mentioned, um, my goal is just to build the sport in the community, um, whether that's through school systems, um, I'm even a guidance counselor in my masters. I try to get in my counseling sessions with the little kids. Anything to get kids out there and get them active, I think is really crucial. We live in paradise, it's the perfect city for this thing, so it's really good to keep building it. So I'd like to thank my fiance, Alex, for all of her loving support. She's been there, my co-host, in all the chaos of a, basically a 10-hour tournament day, so I wouldn't be able to do it without her. I'd like to thank my mom for always being there for me with whatever passion I pursue, even the saxophone. My teammate, Will Potter, for helping our team become sponsored and nationally ranked in the nation. Um, Spike Bowl for supporting me and of course the entire Santa Cruz community because without you guys um, it's just been amazing we've have over like 300 members in our Facebook group and it's just great to see it build and see people supportive of a new sport so once again thank you guys and I really appreciate being here <laughs> 